I'm at the Jane Eyre Adult Breakfast at the moment with my goodie bag. And we just had breakfast and then we had some question and answers with Jane, who's just there. Um, but I will be having like a one-to-one -one with her a little bit later, so I will definitely film and catch up with you. But yeah, what an incredible day and so nice to meet her as well. She's so we have got a goodie bag. Ooh, all sorts of foodies in here. I'm Ksenia. Yes, it's I've very, seen very you nice from the beginning. Oh, yes. Oh, it's so nice to meet you because I, I feel like I already know you because I've read so much. Sorry, uh, so much. Yes, and then you know, and then you use so many products, and you just know that the person behind those products is a good person. Oh, so thank you. It was such a nice, you know, confirmation of the fact that I oh. thought you would be such a lovely person. Oh, and you absolutely are. Thank so you. It's nice to meet you. Well, your skin is amazing. Oh, thank you so absolutely. much. Uh, what kind of advice would you give, like, models and maybe younger people who, um, like, these days, makeup is a very... It's like an everyday routine. Mm, like you, mm, it's mm. almost like people feel like they can't go out without That's makeup right, anymore. Yeah, to those people, to still keep your skin healthy. I think really it all starts from what we put in our bodies. Yeah. So I give you all kinds of skin advice about cleansing and products yeah. and everything else. But in the end, it's what you put in your body that that matters. So. For example, they they found a real uh, link between dairy and sugar and yeah, breakouts. That's right, yeah. And so many people I know that when they eliminate dairy and sugar from their diet, suddenly their skin's clean up. Clean up, yeah, I agree. So, but your point about hygiene is very important too. I mean, you've got to be sure to wash your brushes, mm -hmm. wash your sponges. Now, you don't have to do it every day if, if yeah, you're yeah, the one using yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. But if somebody else is using it, so never share mm. applicators, never share makeup of any kind. Yeah. As far as skincare goes, if you go to a professional yeah. and you get your skin analyzed and you get products of designed for your skin, yeah, exactly. then then you can stick with them for the rest of your life. Yeah, uh, if you're research. breaking out, you need to yeah. switch around and yeah. try different things and not just keep piling on makeup yeah. to, cu to cover it and yeah, make, yeah, it, make it worse. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what advice would you give young people who would like to establish for example, their own makeup range, or you know, would like to go into that beauty industry. Yeah, when I started, which was 22 years ago, it was a lot easier, I think, yeah. because people weren't expecting a fully fledged, uh, packaged merchandise. Yeah. You, know, you could come in with one product, and then you could go right to two, and then to three, and sort of knock on doors and do one at yeah. a time. I think it's harder now because just because of the whole social media and the whole mm. online part of life. I would I would still start small with a couple of really good products yeah. and get the packaging right. That was a mistake I made in the beginning. It took right. me a while. Yeah, because I was just so interested in what was going in, in, it, in it. Yeah. That I wasn't really thinking about what it looked like. I just thought, well, if it's a great <laughs> product, what does it care? What does it matter? But it does matter. Packaging Absolutely, does matter. Yeah. Um, so I think that the design part of it is important to have some uh, some financial cushion, mm -hmm. um, which I didn't have, and and so I had to really sort of finance the company through growth. Yeah. is a it's a hard way to do it. On the other hand. You don't want to give away the company to investors no, either. No. It's really easy then in the beginning when so. you know the company has no value when you give ten percent away and it's ten percent of nothing. But if the company grows, that ten percent can be That's really meaningful. Yeah, yeah. And then you've got partners in the business who are interested in their own financial <laughs> take on things, and they start to exert an influence that you may not want. So we've managed to stay away from that. But and what is the best advice that someone has ever given you? The best advice that was ever given me in business was do what you say you're going to do. It, it, it goes through every, everything. You know, if you say you're going to return a phone call, return it. Yeah. Um, it makes you careful about what you say mm. and promises. So I think with our brand, we've always um, under-promised and over-delivered. And I'd rather people be surprised at the quality, yeah. surprised <laughs> at the efficacy, surprised at the yeah. science, um, <coughs> without going into you know, bragging. Yeah. Is there a makeup trend that you just don't get, you don't understand? <laughs> I bet there are a few, but maybe there's one yeah, that just there's stands some fashion out. Trend yeah. I, I, I understand. Yeah. I mean, I don't get the ripped jean thing at all. <laughs> um, 
but uh, this is second time around. I think, oh God, we have to go this third time around. Um, <laughs> it uh, comes it, back. It, it always, always comes, comes back. back. Yeah. yeah. I th I, well, I understand it, but I'm not in favour of this whole contouring yeah. thing that's okay. going yeah, on yeah, now. Yeah. I think the harsh that contouring it, yeah, and everything because it's, mm -hmm. it's so hard to achieve. It's hard to achieve, but also I also think how dedicated are those people who do it? Because <laughs> six <laughs> layers of makeup that is dedication for me too. Like maybe yeah. one, you know, yeah. a primer foundation that is That's on an evening it. going out. Yes, you know that yes. is. I know exactly. That what you is mean. already for me quite yeah. an effort. Yeah, I don't have the patience. Exactly. I just um, I, and I, I don't really know who the people are that do because mm. every woman I know is so busy. And she doesn't have time to. Yeah. Hardly ever has time to put on sunscreen, Absolutely. let alone contour. Mm -hmm. I think that's a bit of a shame because it it takes. It, we, we, we have this sort of persona, this pretense going on mm. that everything's perfect and and we look a certain way when um, it's again it's this sort of over promising yeah, yeah. Um, aspect to it. I'd rather I'd rather go the other way around and have people be surprised yeah. than, than be uh, trying to meet this ideal. But I do think that you know with all the like contouring and heavy brows and things like that I do think like at the moment same as the trend of going organic or yeah. being a vegetarian or even going vegan I think the mineral makeup and especially cruelty free makeup mm -hmm. is really you know gaining its mm -hmm. popularity mm -hmm. because suddenly mm -hmm. people realize what have we been doing to this planet and to the animals on the planet suddenly everyone woke up and started researching and looking into it so maybe we're in the right direction. Do you think yeah. that we will get there? Like people will be more interested in, you know, well, we were talking about natural. It's kind of like a funny word, natural. Very, yeah. So maybe more cruelty free and mineral. And yeah, I think, and you're so right, because people use the word natural all the time, mm -hmm. um, but nobody really knows what it means. Yeah, exactly. And nobody can define it, and our FDA is trying to define it and can't. And till we have, till we come to an understanding of what that really means, uh, it's really hard to say if, what, what, if something's natural or not. But to be clean, yeah, or as clean as you can yeah. be, and still get the results, because women don't want to wear makeup that's totally clean and find it falls off yeah, in five exactly, minutes, exactly. so it doesn't give them the look they want. I mean, what's mm -hmm. the point? So it's got to have a combination of two, which is very hard to achieve. Yeah, I definitely think the whole cruelty-free movement has made a huge stride, yeah. and has become really, really important. Thank God um, that people really can't, yeah. you know. In good conscience, wear something that they know tortured a, a rabbit's mm -hmm. eyes. I wish the same thing applied to the way meat is raised and slaughtered. Oh, I'm not absolutely. a vegetarian yeah, yeah. because I do believe that we need protein, you know, animal mm -hmm. protein mm -hmm. for optimum health. But I don't want it. to eat something that I think has been tortured in its life, yeah. and I, I want to eat something I know that's been had a been on grass and yeah, yeah. Happy, life, a happy life and died, exactly. and died yeah, yeah. painlessly. But I'm not sure that when we right. may be a little late. Yeah, yeah, I, I agree. I agree with you. I think with that because I always, I always actually say on my channel that a lot of people ask me, you know, what do you eat and you know, like how do you stay fit and things like that. And I say it doesn't mean that you have to cut out all the. You know, if you like dairy, you know, go for it. And if you like wheat, you know, absolutely, you can eat whatever you want. But if you have a choice of where to source your meat mm -hmm. and where to source mm -hmm. your fish and you know where to source your dairy, go for you know free range yeah. and organic and you know absolutely. local. And my last question yeah. is, if you could recommend one product from the whole Jane Idol yeah. range, what would it be? Well, it's my pure press base. Yeah. Uh, we brought that out, I think, in our third or fourth year of being a business. It's still our number one seller. It's a foundation, powder, concealer, sunscreen, all in one. And actually, it's now it, really skin care because we have wonderful antioxidants in it. Yeah. Um, and that's what I wear every single day. So I think that if I could only take one thing with me, it would, to it would be that. To a desert island, that yeah, would be it. Yeah, to a desert island, because I get my sun protection. <laughs> yeah, exactly, yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah. thank you so much. No, thank you so thank much. Thank you. It was such a thank pleasure you. talking to you. Yeah. Likewise. And thank you for all your products. They are amazing, and I do believe that they change a lot of people's, you know, the way they think about makeup, the way they use makeup. So yeah, thank you so yeah. much. And oh my God.
These. I know. How cute. I just can't get over this. I can't wait to give my mom this for Christmas. You wait till you see them in the little package. The oh little yeah, I can't rice wait. Package. They are so Seriously. cute. Thank yeah. you so much. Yeah. Thank no, you for talking thank, to thank me. You. It's such a pleasure. So, I have just finished the interview with Jane and I'm sitting in the park eating my cardamom bun, having my cup of tea. It's very shady because it's very sunny. It's such a beautiful autumn day and I am just sitting here and I am just so genuinely happy, like just pure happiness because I'm sitting in a beautiful place, um, beautiful weather. I have just been to meet some incredible people, talk about makeup and all sorts of things really. Me and Jane, we had a completely random talk after the interview about mushroom picking and what we cook at home. And yeah, I mean, London is such a beautiful place. There's a little bit, there's something for everyone. It is expensive and um, it is very busy. Um, but it's such an incredible place and such a place of opportunities and things like that. Um, so yeah, I'm just, I'm just feeling, I'm having, I'm having a bit of an emotional moment because I just feel very grateful for all the opportunities that I have and that I had the opportunity to go to this meeting today. But um, yeah, I have people looking at me weird because why is she sitting on the bench and filming herself? But why not? I want to and I can and I will. But yeah, I also got some beautiful roses from Divina, some goodies there. And just look at the park, look at the beautiful weather. Everyone is just chilling on the grass and it is like end of September. So, um, you know, it's not the warmest, but it is still a really beautiful, oh my God, I thought it's a bird. <laughs> oh my God, I can't believe I caught it on camera. But yeah, that is clearly a sign from above that I'm doing something right and this autumn is going to be amazing so yeah um yeah amazing 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 just really feeling very happy and very grateful so yeah i'll speak to you later i'll have to go and make my way now to find jay and then we're gonna drive back to manchester mm.